units, this piece of chocolate, if you 900 times, right? Hot, or 500 times hotter than a jalapeno? Yeah, it's, a, it's a hot, hot piece of chocolate. Like that redefines hot chocolate, you know? All right, participating, we have uh, Chief Mike Catalano. Hey. His uh, trusty deputy chief, Paul Sandy. Hey. We have two sergeants at the table, uh, Seth Rowland and Tony Natoli. Hey. Mr. Officer Pat O'Donnell. Hey. And uh, the community officer who is uh, much of the brains and brawn behind the operation, Mr. Jesse Abbott. If you guys haven't heard Jesse's uh, on the radio, by the way, he's after my job, I think. But go to our website and look that up. That's fun. Uh, all right, so Brew 64, first of all, we'll thank them for hosting us tonight and uh, giving us your space and hospitality. Uh, I'm nervous. I'm usually on the radio and nobody's looking at me, so I'm like, come on. Stop looking at it. <laughs> All right, so Trinity Valley Dairy Farm, uh, they donated milk too, which is probably the most important commodity in the room right now. Uh, we need the milk. We need the milk, by the way. Milk's coming. Don't worry about the milk. Yeah, you gotta eat the chocolate first. Because if you... Uh, oh, that's good, yeah. Who else brought milk? All right, by the way, we checked each one of these guys for any sort of uh, muscle relaxer or any cheating on my own side. Now, Jesse actually just told me today he's got a canker sore though. So, oh, so true. <laughs> the other guys will have a canker sore by the end of the night. So. All right. So here is uh, well, we still got some things. Walmart also donated uh, ice cream and other snacks. We got a bunch of stuff up here: Jello, uh, crackers. I called them snackers earlier because I was tired. There's bread up here. All of these things they can't have though, or they lose. They lose. Twelve of these guys. Can I hold one up? Nah, I don't know. See, they're kind of small. It's probably about the size of what an m and I don't want to touch them because you got to eat them. You know? All right, so uh, you don't have to thank me for being the MC, but he put it down here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, Bernard's donated the banner as well, the award medal and shirts. These shirts uh, worn by the participants. You see the logo. I've seen this shirt on Facebook a bunch of times, and now you got it right on the front here. And uh, hopefully I get one of those too. That, you can take me up on that. Uh, okay. Crown City Guns and Ammo for was the top donor this year. Well, yeah, we'd also like to. Well, this is the first annual event. We'd like to thank everybody else who donated too. Uh, I know you you destroyed that goal, right? Uh, the, everybody attending, all of you who donated to the community policing position, fourteen hundred dollars actually was raised, uh, and that helps. Oh, the milk is here. Hold on. On the state championship lacrosse team with my son. Um, and he won a state championship in hockey. He graduated from high school last year and he enlisted in the Marines. He's going back and forth to Rochester right now. He did graduate, he is a Marine, but we're selling bracelets, Wyatt Strong bracelets, five bucks each. It just helps out his family and everything. So rather than donate any more to us, let's look after somebody who's kind of going through a tough time right now. One other thing I want to give these guys, as you know, it's not just a police officer thing, but you start eating hot stuff uh, we might say a few curse words or something, might yell something out. So I got something for these guys. So if they feel like they have to yell any curse words, we got these custom-made pillows. <laughs> 2020 uh, World's Hottest Candy Bar Challenge participant. Now, if they feel like punching something, I've got my picture on the other side of the <laughs> But I'm sorry if you're a Red Sox fan, I'm a Yankee fan. I got, I'm punching the Red Sox. Where's Kelly? We need some more spoons. A few of these guys might give that pillow to their animals after. After they punch the pillow. We need more spoons on the way. <laughs> I'm keeping track of all the materials in here. Make sure we get everything. All right. I, I was sort of explaining the rules. So there's 12 of these little pieces of chocolate, and these guys will be eating them one by one, with a minute in between. So the game goes: you eat one piece of chocolate, you sit there for a minute, and cry your eyes out. And if 
you drink milk, have jello, take bread, anything, you're, you're done. And you did it for no reason, really. No, well, you did it for you. You're raising money for good stuff. Uh, so we'll go through by minute, and if the, those minutes are easy, then we'll wait longer, maybe two minutes, three minutes. And by the time uh, we're the last person <laughs> sitting, basically, I think the record is four. So if somebody beats that, I'll be impressed. Now, nah. I'm not even doing one, so you guys are already braver than me. Oh, we have a trophy, too, for the winner, so that's what you're going for, too. A medal. That was donated by Bernard's. Uh, and we will, uh, right? I'm taking Jesse's seat, that's why he's looking at it. Sorry, right, Jesse, you'll be watching me take your seat in a minute. <laughs> All right, dude, should we do like a ready, set, go, or? Oh, hold on. Oh, well, get your pillows out. Oh, I got the timer. Oh, Oh, let's see here. My battery doesn't die. All right, we good to go? Oh my god. What was that, Jeff? Come on, boys. You said, oh my gosh. And close. All right, so we will start the timer in. I'm watching you guys. Three. Come on, boys. Two. That's not even a full square. Get your first square. Oh, first square is in, first square is in. Oh. Mouths are moving. <laughs> Some of them are even moving their faces. Did we get the right job? <laughs> we have lift off. Where else are we at? Anybody else sweating? Uh, Sheep cattle on a little bit? No? Yeah. Look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys all get paid to keep your composure anyway. They need a little sugar in there. Is it even good chocolate? How's the chocolate taste? How are you feeling? Hiccups. Hiccups? Is it hot yet? You said it wasn't hot. It's real, it's real hot. A little bit. I'm getting all the words out now. They're not going to be able to talk in a minute. Anybody else want to talk? Oh, Lord. One minute to put the second piece in. What? Oh, yes. It's been a minute. Oh, just so you guys know, I'm not cheating. I'll put this right here. Round boy, Rowan. All right, set. He just ate another one, yeah. Two pieces. You want second? Second one in, yeah. That doesn't matter when you put it in, really. It's already done its damage. You're doing good, boys. It's funny, you guys are drying my mouth up. I'm trying to venture to the loudest one, and it looks to be Jesse right now. I feel bad, I really do. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> Two. You're gonna be eating your third piece right now. Ain't no spit. Third piece. <laughs> All right, Jesse, come on. Oh. We're at two minutes and twelve seconds. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's a hot piece of chocolate. Hot words gonna be flying. Still no milk soap. Oh, there's a couple milk soap in it. Make sure we're watching too. Don't let them sneak in it. Ooh. <laughs> Two minutes and 35 seconds. We got, again, if you said piece number four is the record, you're doing that in eight seconds. We got one out. One out. One out. It's okay, officer. Piece number four. Two out, two out. Everybody else who's not out, piece number four. In the mouth, please. Chief got the hiccups. 
Piece number four is in. If anybody can last up to the minute and get one more in, then. Oh, yeah. Mr. Jesse's done. It's okay, Jesse. I'm surprised you got that far. I can't just That's pretty crazy. Jesse's <laughs> All right, when you're yeah, when you're out, metaphorically throw in the towel so we know you're out on the if you can. Just put it up in front of you, I guess. Uh, no, we know you're out. Don't worry. Unless you need to use the towel. Okay. Who's remaining? Maybe we should ask that. Piece number five for anybody who's still willing to do it. Uh, oh, we have piece number five over here. Anybody else have five in? Five pieces? Oh, this guy's. <laughs> Look at the composure. Let's get the Oh, so you have four? Yeah, four and five. You have five? We'll be counting the squares after. I'll know if you got. Well, actually, my math's not good. I'll have someone else do it. Rollin and Deputy Chief are the only ones here. Uh, <laughs> four thirty. We'll be doing piece number six if you're really up for it in 20 seconds. Anybody? You're still going, right? Come on, come on, Donald. Yeah. Well, he's a, he said you're one behind, right? Oh, he's done. You're still in here. I think we had the lone remaining officer. Two? Sandy still in? Piece number five for anybody who's not out. Come on, Rowan. Piece number five. Oh, six. Somebody should be counting. That's probably me. Six pieces. You know what we'll do is, regardless, we'll count them. Wait a second. There was 20. Or 12. 12. Good boy. So Sandy. And we have one more down here. Rollins, he's been, Rollins been, he's been, been sweating it all. Like I'm feeling it now, though. <laughs> Everybody else eat their ice cream in front of them. There's coming up on... Oh, I'm going to see my phone. Come on, and piece number seven goes in now. You guys are impressed. Wait, I'm guessing you guys all got the day off tomorrow, right? Workers' cop. Workers' cop. Oh man, you should have. Uh, let's see, six twenty, six twenty. What are we doing, six twenty? By the way, for anybody else who wants to try this, we're going to do it again afterwards. Oh, God. Another 12. Oh, it's just the first round? Just the first round, but <laughs> we got to get in a fresh six. Yeah. 640, we're at 20 seconds. I'm feeling better the longer that I'm up here looking at you guys. Oh, oh. Five seconds until piece number eight. One and a piece number eight. If you're up for it, Mr. Rollins, up for it. Piece number eight. Piece number eight. Piece number eight. If you're willing, yes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Did you put it in? Rollins got it in. Back it up. Let's see the applause going. Yeah, eight pieces? You kidding me? If my reporting was accurate, that's twice the record. 30 seconds until number nine, by the way. Just keeping this. Oh, I think we're getting by. He looks like he does when he walks in the brief. What do you say? I will count. I'm going to count them at the end just to make sure. We started with 12, so. I'll see how many everyone's got now. And we'll check the floor if we have to. Eight minutes, which means piece number nine. Peace and love. Get this man a piece of chocolate. He's putting this bad way in. 
Oh, yes, Anna, that's it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got the winner, Mr. Ryan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the sound? Everybody give a round of applause for each one of these guys. What? Yeah, guys, get those pillows ready. Oh, he did? Yeah. All right. We can check them for accuracy, but these guys are cops. You think they lie about how many of these bad ones did? Army strong, baby. Army strong. Congratulations again. Your metal boss? Oh, wait. Yes, we're ready with <laughs> Congratulations, I'm going to put your medal on now. Actually, do you want it on or do I just put it in front of you? Whatever you need. <laughs> wow. Jesse, uh, everybody up here. Uh, good job, thank you so much again. Most of all, everybody out there. I don't know if I can say most of all. I mean, look at these guys. You and who? Pretty bad. Uh, but thank you so much for being here and, and donating because obviously, as we said at the beginning, this song goes towards an awesome cause. So uh, this is the first time. Hopefully, we'll do it again. Or maybe the last. We'll think of another challenge. Uh, maybe one that's like a little bit more like a wing challenge or something. An idea? So I will tell you guys about our next challenge. And I do have a couple committed. Officer Locke. That's you. Yeah. So May, in May we're going to celebrate Mother's Day. And we're going to do a labor simulator. So we're going to put E-STEM units on our lower stomach, lower back, and inner thighs. And our mothers or our wives are going to control it. I can't even talk right now. I'm feeling that pain too. So come May, we're going to be having babies. <laughs> well, <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting a couple of Jesse's sons earlier, so I know his mom's going to be, their mom's going to be especially happy for that one. See? <laughs> this is what I like. All right. Well, thank you guys again. Look out for that stuff. Uh, follow Portland Community Policing on Facebook. Jesse's real good about posting their stuff. Other than that, let's get these boys to the toilet or the sink. One of the two. Or the bar. Third option. Option. All right. Thank you very much.